Hey guys, it's Brian King, Dixondale Farms. Just out here working 2018 onion transplant ground. Uh, it's a pretty interesting time of the year for us. We're winding down our 2017 transplant season. I guess uh, it'd be considered 2016, 2017 transplant season. Um, many of you guys are uh, harvesting your plants that you received from us earlier in the year. And many of you guys are just now planting yours, so good luck with that. There's a lot going on around the farm at, uh, at this time of the year. Like I said, we're, we're winding down our tra transplant season, so we're finishing up harvesting. Uh, like I said, I'm working some ground for the 2017-2018 season. Uh, many of you don't know, but we also grow uh, cantaloupes. We're the largest commercial grower shipper in the state of Texas uh, for cantaloupes. They go to all the major retailers. We are about a uh, couple weeks, I would say, from harvesting our first field. Uh, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update uh, what's going on at the farm. I'll take you around and give you a tour, show you some of our cantaloupes, show you what we have left of our onion transplants. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Just a little view from the driver's seat here. Uh, working ground, like I said, for the 2017-28 transplant season, next year's transplants. We use uh, all New Holland tractors here. Uh, this one's guided, GPS guided, uh, with their precision land management program. What that does is it allows us to uh, be more efficient in our groundwork, and uh, which in turn, you know, burns less fuels, better in the environment, less overlap, less waste. Uh, and it makes uh, for a nice day in the tractor. Uh, I can make videos for you guys. Still have to pay attention. Uh, all it does is it drives a straight line. It won't turn, it won't do anything like that. But it'll keep this line straight. It'll adjust a little bit as needed. You can see on the screen up there in the top left corner, it's sub inch accuracy. So it's staying on this line within less than an inch. Give you a little turnaround. Just trying to keep the weeds down uh, at this point. Uh, we're not quite ready to, to really do a lot to the soil other than keep it loose, keep it from getting compacted, and keep the weeds down and get ready. We won't start planting this ground until August. our first cantaloupe field that we planted uh, first of February. We got to plant a little bit early this year. The, had pretty mild winter. Soil temperature was up so we took a gamble and got some seed in the ground and so far it's paid off. Uh, got lots of nice sized cantaloupes already. A little muddy in the field here. Just finished watering it. Uh, you can see they're starting to net. Nice size to them. They'll have uh, that golden yellow color here in the next seven to 10 days or so. And the whole field will be smelling like a sweet cantaloupe. Take you to uh, some younger ones next and then we'll go see the uh, onion transplants. Little younger field of cantaloupes here. Uh, I guess these are about 30 days behind the, the first set I just showed you. You can see there's uh, lots of blooms on them. Uh, maybe some fruit starting to set. All right, got three different fields here. There's one there, the one I'm in, and then there's one way up there by the road. These are very important to our crop. Uh, we try to take as much care as we can of them. Without the bees, we don't have a crop. We, we actually lease bees, we, we rent them, we bring them in for the season. Uh, we don't spray any pesticides once the bees are here uh, for protection of the bees. Uh, 
We treat our seed with a product called Farmore. It has a, an insecticide on it and a couple fungicides that actually protects the plant as it, as it emerges from the ground. Uh, and that allows us to not spray the pesticides uh, so we can protect the bees. Um, but with, like I said, without the bees, we don't have a crop. They'll go around, they'll pollinate all these flowers, and each one of these flowers will hopefully end up becoming a cantaloupe. It'll close up, the bloom will fall off, and the fruit will set right behind it. Some of our beehives here, uh, this is our smallest group we have. We have these hives just scattered throughout the farm uh, in a fairly close proximity to all the cantaloupe fields. The bees will be here for around 60 days or so and then they'll go on to the next farm and do their job there. I'd get out and show you some more, but I'm pretty allergic to bees, so I'm gonna stay in the truck and live to see you another day. So our youngest cantaloupe field here. Uh, they're about 60 days behind our oldest field. You can see they're just getting their first true leaves. That's these here. These leaves are the cotyledon leaves, the ones that just, they'll, they'll come up, they'll get out of the ground, and they'll fall off. So we're getting uh, two to three true leaves. Uh, and in about 20 to 30 days, they'll look just like those other ones uh, that I just showed you. Last but not least, uh, some of our onion transplants we have left. Uh, standing over some yellows right here. Uh, there's some reds, those that darker top right there. Those are some reds. Uh, I don't know what variety they are. I don't have a planting guide right in front of me. In any given field, we can have uh, upwards of 30 different varieties, 26, 30 different varieties. Uh, we try to separate them by color, yellow, reds, and whites. That way we don't get them mixed up. There's a, we put stakes at the top of the field uh, between each variety uh, just to help us remember what's what. Uh, but like I said, we're, we're finishing up our transplant season, so they're uh, still got a lot of good plants left. But this is, uh, this is our, one of our last fields that we have. There's probably four other ones we have seen this one. Some flowers are starting to come in. So we're not far from the end of our season. The video is probably a little longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, like I said, there's a lot going on around the farm. I'll do a little better job in the future of trying to keep you guys updated of what's going on so I don't have to make such long videos and, and maybe do a weekly update or bi-weekly. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. I can do that. Feel free to share. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, answering to the best of my abilities. Brian King, Dixondale Farms.